Hey guys, it's Susan from The Perfect Home. Welcome back. Yesterday I shared a cleaning checklist with you guys, specifically about the kitchen and your ways that you can get organized and uh, with your cleaning and keep a clean kitchen. I will tell you that this is one of the weaknesses that I have is that my kitchen always seems to kind of be a mess and um, it's time to stop that. So the checklist is gonna help me and hopefully it will help you. And also, um, I'm going to share with you what my underneath sink looks like today and I did some deep cleaning and some cleaning out and it looks way better but typically I got it organized a few months ago when I found um, some cool stuff um, at the organizing um, the organizing superstore container store which is out by Park Meadows Mall it has some amazing things and I came up with something for the black hole under my sink that I think would also work for you because I think people typically have that um, underneath their kitchen sink where it's all the plumbing and then everything's just kind of thrown back there so I know it's kind of frustrating but I'm going to show you guys some um, ways that you can solve that issue so let's get started okay here is my kitchen um, it's a pretty standard kitchen the builder um, didn't get too fancy here my home was built in 96 so the cabinetry is old the counters are old um, it's just an older house, but um, I've done the best that I could with what I have by painting the cabinets and um, doing some other little things to put organization in place. So um, I have a lot of cabinet space, which is awesome. And the island helps add to that by adding more. So here's my kitchen area. And as you can see, I don't like to keep a lot of stuff on the um, the sink area, sorry. I don't like to keep a lot of stuff on the counters. I just, it makes it hard for me to clean. It just, there's stuff everywhere. I feel like I don't want to come in here and cook because I just have to keep moving stuff around. So I have mostly the basics. Um, my knife set here that I use all the time, so that stays. Can opener, all the time it stays paper towel in my basket with some other stuff I can throw with fruit and a couple decorative items, but that's pretty much it. So my sink area is pretty clean here, and I wanted to show you how cute this was. I made this with vinyl. No dishes on this side. That actually does help, and it actually helps remind me to keep stuff to the right so that I can always rinse gunk and plates and things like that and get it down with it going all over the other plates that are all stacked there. So that just helps keep us a little more organized. And then I like a lamp here with a lot of the, not the extra light and stuff coming in. So I'm gonna show you um, this particular sink area here where I keep my cleaning supplies and how I organize that. So let's get started. And I apologize, let's see if we get enough light here. So what I did was go to the container store and just start looking around, thinking, how, what the heck can I do here to put some shelving or to keep things organized? And I ended up getting two of these big, um, they're just boxes basically, but they have, um, they slide out. So I'll show you here. See how this drawer completely slides open? So in here is mostly pet stuff, like their brushes. Um, my fur fighter thing that I use to get the fur off the couch, the combs, um, the net for the fishbowl. I use this for scrubbing um, out my bird feeders for outside. And that just slides right back in, bam. And then it because it's so sturdy on the top, you can stack your things right above it. So it's kind of like an extra shelf. So my dishwashing detergent is right next to the dishwasher, which is to the left here, and my other cleaning things. And then on the other side, same thing. I've got this one and it has like extra sponges and scrubbies. Um, my Mr. Or Clean Magic Erasers are back there. Love those. Um, and just a couple other little things. So I can open and close that very easily. And then on top again, I've used that as a shelf for all of my cleaners that I use all the time. I love me some Comet. It's a dollar for the um, entire bottle, and it scrubs everything. It's so great. Um, and then there's a couple other things back here that I just I don't use quite as much, so they're kind of back behind this basket that I will show you. 
And this basket I can easily just pull and lift out, but I can also get my hand in here to be able to get my dish rags. My Swiffer dusters are on the other side there. And then towards the back, there's some things I don't use as much, like my Febreze and um, my floor polisher and things like that. So easy peasy. I've got two shelves it's created, two drawers with smaller things like that, and bam. On the door here, I've got both my Swiffer duster and my other regular duster um, that command hooks. Thank you very much. It's so awesome. I use command hooks absolutely everywhere in my house. In fact, I'll show you this cupboard right here that's next to it. Also has command hooks and I hang things like this. There's my measuring cups and my strainer that I use all the time to rinse my fruit with. Easy peasy. Same thing here. This one is next to the stove. Okay, so when I'm cooking, I can open this up. I hate seeing hot mitts. I hate seeing crap on the counters and stuff hanging. My hot mitts are right here. Command hook, bam, and another strainer. Okay. On the front here, here is another one of these over the door. This is actually a faux drawer, obviously, but, um, it's still hooked over and I can have a dishcloth right here to keep drying my hands with because I hate having wet hands and when I need something for dishes it's right there. So I want to share with you guys a couple of my favorite products. One that helps with this here and that is this mounting putty here. I got this at Hobby Lobby but I've seen it different places. I've used this for multiple things in my house. One of which I have used right here because when I bought this sliding thing, it slid back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it drove me nuts. And so I mounted a little bit of putty right under here on both sides, and it sticks tight. I also used it for one of these command hooks in here when it didn't want to stick very good because I kind of had to rig it because I didn't have the right um, adhesive on it. I just tucked a little under there and tight, tight as can be. Another spot I've used it. is on this. I hung this on my island with a nail and it tended to want to swing and bounce and always look crooked. So I just tucked a little under this corner right here and it doesn't move at all. Stuck tight. So there's a lot of ways that you can um, use that all throughout your house. Another favorite product that I love is my labels. You could get great label maker. You could get crazy with um, labels all day long, all throughout your kitchen, your office, your entire house. And I love this Dymo Electra Tag because you can do several different types of tape in there from like a, more of a sticky paper one to like a more of a thicker plasticky one and they come in colors. But you can also do all kinds of different fonts and different things like that. So I've labeled several things around my house. But those are two awesome products that I like to use. Um, and then for my cleaning products, I think you guys saw under there, but got to love me some Comet. Um, and I basically just use, I love Swiffers. I love my Swiffer duster. I have the one with the extended handle that helps me get way up high to clean with. Um, my Mr. Clean. I am a cheapskate, so this is not scrubbing bubbles. This is actually just a refill, like I'll buy the big things of Mr. Clean and refill it and mix it with water and use it and use it and use it. So that saves me a lot of money. Hope you guys got some good tips today. Please leave me some comments below, questions, things you want to see. You want a tutorial on chalk paint. I did my whole kitchen in the, in the white chalk paint and it's held up really well. I have a couple chips and things here and there, but not too bad for three years, yeah? All right, guys. Happy organizing. Get your kitchens clean today. Love you. Bye.